Howdy, Kristen for Guns.com. Today we're taking a look at some historic American firearms and reproductions. I believe there's nothing more important than knowing your history, and in this case, knowing the history of our firearms. One of the most, if not the most important contribution to American firearms design was the repeating rifle. And that started with Benjamin Tyler Henry and his 1860 patent rifle. Since we can't own a $25,000 or $50,000 original, the closest that we can get is with reproductions. And we have two of the finest here with the Henry repeating arms version, no relationship to Mr. Benjamin Tyler Henry, and also the U-Birdie. We're gonna take a look at these guns and talk about how they fit into American history and firearms design, why it's important to know about them, and how much fun they are to shoot on the range. Let's take a closer look at these reproductions, starting with the Uberti, which we have in the rifle length 24 inch barrel. So you have the longer barrel as opposed to our 20 and a half inch carbine. The nice thing Uberti includes are the two sling mounts, the barrel mounted and the buttstock mounted. We have the brass receiver with the toggle link action, same as the Henry's toggle link action, which is true to the original, and the brass butt plate on both. The triggers are very similar on our trigger pull gauge. The Henry coming in at about six and a half to seven pounds. The Uberti, not quite as consistent of a trigger pull. We're varying between about seven and a half and eight and a half pounds with the Uberti. The octagon barrel design on both, both the Uberti here and the Henry in front have the ladder sight, both graduated to 800 yards. Here's a closer look at the detail of the ladder sight on the Henry original. You'll see the dovetail, which is nice at 50 yards, and then folds up to the full ladder, which is graduated out to 800 yards with the slider. That you birdie sight detail, graduated out to 800 yards. A smooth lever action with the locking mount on the back for securing the lever on both guns. Both have the half cock safety, which is not modern. We appreciate that they've stayed true to original form and not modernized that. The calibers on these two reproductions are the same with the 4440 chambering. Ammo is easy enough to find if you want to shoot these beauties, and they're much more practical than the 44 flat rim fire, which was the original chambering of the 1860 Henry design. That quickly fell out of favor, but it served its purpose in its time. This is the 44 rimfire short, never quite as popular as the standard 44 rimfire. And what we're shooting in our reproductions, the 4440 centerfire. It's important to note that both Uberti and Henry repeating arms also offer them in a 45 long colt chambering. Let's take a little closer look at the Henry here. You'll see right off the bat a much higher grade of wood on the buttstock as compared to the Uberti though Uberti does also offer upgraded model options. The main thing that sets these apart in accessibility is price. The Henry has an MSRP of $2,416, while the Uberti is more affordable at $1,000 less of $1,316. So there's a difference right off the bat there, but what you're getting in a difference with the Henry repeating arms version is an American-made, American company from the ground up design. Is that customer service and the build worth it? That's a personal decision. Regardless of which one you choose, the important thing is to know that reproductions are affordable enough to take out on the range and enjoy. So what we're gonna do is grab our U-Birdie and our Henry repeating arms and some cowboy ammunition, head out to the range and get a feel for how these guns fire, how these magazine tubes work and get that feeling back in the old days taking part in the history of American firearms. Let's get a closer look at how this loads. So just nice and easy, a little extra push, and that magazine tube opens right up.
I hope you enjoyed our journey through time with these fine reproduction rifles on the 1860 Henry. Give us a like, share, and a subscribe over at guns.com. And in the meantime, keep shooting and enjoying history.